17 years old, and you move into a huge mansion where anything you want is possible. Having met an attractive and strong and handsome half-brother who is ready to protect and do anything, at first glance it seems that he is not so obedient, and it drives our heroine crazy. They get to know each other and experience emotions differently than a brother and sister. This movie is about relationships, love, friendship, rivalry, and revenge. This is Mr. Narrator. After watching this story, you will see more than just a stepbrother and sister getting to know each other. Enjoy the movie. The plot of the movie begins with a 17-year-old girl named Noah. She is packing her things to move to another city. The girl places a picture with her father in her suitcase. It is obvious that they are both race car drivers. When she goes to the new city, the girl gradually gets used to the incredible views of the sea, the beach, the trees, and the beautiful nature. Noah reads a book and is quiet in the car with her mother Emma. The mother tries to talk to her daughter, but the girl keeps reading. Emma says that she has met her new husband and has decided to start a new life. She explains to her daughter that since she is not yet 18 years old, she has to settle into her new home. Currently, the girl is in no mood because she does not want to leave her town where all her friends are. The girl discovers that her stepfather is very rich when they arrive at the luxurious mansion. Upon arrival, they are met by Will, it is Emma's husband, as well as the servants. The girl expresses dissatisfaction with the move starting to take things out of the car. They also start having an argument with a butler named Martin. After getting to know the stepfather, they enter the house. The girl realizes how rich their family is after seeing the fancy house. The girl is not interested in anything in the house, whether it's a pool, spa, or a new car, and she asks if they have a library. After Emma shows her daughter her new room, she starts unpacking her things. It turns out that her half-brother Nicholas' room is next door. The girl begins to fully realize that this is her new home. She takes some pictures in her expensive clothes and sends them to her friend. She sees her half-brother Nicholas when she goes out on the terrace. When her friend calls, the guy notices the girl. The girl tells her friend that despite the wealth of her new family, she was more comfortable in her own town. Walking around the house, Noah looks for the refrigerator for something to snack on, but closing the refrigerator, she was frightened when she saw her half-brother Nicholas, who was very handsome. Since the girl didn't turn off her phone, since Noah didn't turn off the phone, her friend hears everything and Nicholas learns her half-sister's name. The girl was frightened by the huge dog when she sat down to get the phone and immediately started to panic and defend herself. Nicholas advises her not to make the dog angry because it will cause aggression. For the first time, a half-sister and brother are in love. Once in the room, she finds that her friend continues to listen intently. Noah informed her that he was very attractive and she liked him. When the girl picks out a dress, the whole family gathers for dinner and waits for her. Obviously, she has a unique choice. Her bold choices appealed to Nick, too. She texts Dan that she misses him and asks him to call her back, but he says he's busy. Noah sees Nick catch up with them in his car and throws a cigarette out the window. She didn't expect that because he seems like a bad guy. Upon arriving at the restaurant, they approach the table. The girl sees her mother talking to her stepfather. Noah notices the waitress seducing Nicholas. Talking at the table, Noah realizes that her parents don't know that Nick smokes, and she decides to keep it a secret. Her stepbrother is about to leave for work with his friend. Noah declares that she has to go too. Noah asks his son to give his sister a ride home. On the way, they argue and Nick drops his sister off. Her phone is dead and she can't call a cab. Seeing a car, she tries to stop it. It drives past. The girl insults him. The car stops and backs up. In it sat a cute guy named Mario. Turns out he knows Nicholas and is headed to the same party. On the way, the girl says that she and her half-brother Nicholas live in his house. She says he dropped her off in the driveway and left. Nicholas turns out to be the initiator of the party. Her new friend informs her that it's a party of a very dangerous guy named Ronnie, who recently got out of prison. She realizes that the parents don't know their son well, seeing that Nick is a womanizer. She beats him up for leaving her on the road. When her brother notices that Noah is attractive, he tries to reassure her by noticing the tattoo near her ear. He tells her to stay out of his business and to keep her quiet about his parties at home. Ina, Nick's friend, meets Noah as she approaches, and they go out to party, Nick's friend showing off his car. At that moment, Noah revisits pictures of her boyfriend with her best friend and wants revenge by kissing the other. 
Her new friend advises her to find and kiss the hottest guy. After approaching them and kissing Gina, Lion meets Noah. Nicholas is dating a new girl. Roni knows that Noah is the sister of his main rival and wants to meet her, and sends his friend to get the girl drunk. But Nick notices and defends his sister. He informs her that she has been drugged and will take her home. But she objects. She starts acting strange in the car. After they get home, he puts his sister to bed. She sees scary memories of her childhood where she was afraid of her father. In the morning, Nick and Noah discuss what happened during the night. He just put her to bed, joking that she's funny. When they meet her parents, they are hesitant to tell them what happened yesterday. Nick helps her out and texts her that she and her friend were watching a movie. The parents also express their gratitude to the guy for introducing Noah to their friends. She looks at her phone and discovers that the text message expressing her sympathy for Nick was sent the same night. She becomes angry and leaves because her mother has ended her relationship with Dan. An unknown number rings on the phone on the beach. At this moment, Noah observes his brother and other friends who also came to the beach to surf. Nick asks his friends an interesting fact that his sister said at night, and Noah quickly starts to fall in love with Nick, especially from the moment the guy starts putting on his surfing suit. Yane notices that Noah looks at her brother in a completely different way. The sister also notices that other girls approach Nick to participate in the race, but the guy pretends he doesn't know what they're talking about. Noah is interested in the race, because she is a race fan herself and is a great driver. All the people cheer before the race and cheer on the racers. From the first race, Nick is invigorated and shows his confidence and calmness. When he notices his sister with Hina, the guy is distracted by her because Noah is very attractive. But when he catches up with his rival, Noah notices how fast he's catching up. Nick gets distracted again when he sees Mario playing with his sister. He falls a little behind. However, as he gathers himself, he pulls ahead, outmaneuvers his rival, and finishes as the winner on the turn. Ronnie figures out a way to trick Nick after his victory. At the same time, when Noah receives a text from her best friend, she decides to get revenge on him and find a new one. While the other racers compete, Nick doesn't take his eyes off his sister while she has a few drinks and dances. After receiving a new text message, Noah gets jealous and kisses the new man. Nick observes the situation. The brother approaches and chases the young man away. He offers her a kiss to make her boyfriend Dan jealous, but on the condition that she goes home. As he approaches and kisses her gently, the passion grows. As you can see, this is not just a photo. Noah gets into the car, disappointed in Nick. After sending the picture, she breaks up with her boyfriend over the phone. She decides to take this car for a ride, so she gets behind the wheel and turns the key. At that moment, Roni arrives at the start and sees a girl in the car starting the race. She also tries to back out. Nick was in the car with his girlfriend at the same time. He hears the siren, but doesn't make it to the car in time as he rushes to the start. Roni says that if no one goes, his team automatically wins and the girl decides to start. Nick's friends are not happy about why he is not in the car, and they do not know who the driver is. Soon, they notice that Noah is driving. The race begins when she paints her lips to piss off her rival. They drive at the same level, but at a corner the girl is first and at the second she falls behind. However, she quickly catches up. She overtakes him again on the turn, but on the hardest turn, she pulls ahead and passes him completely. Roni starts ramming the car and Noah is perplexed as to what's going on and arrives at the finish line first. It turns out that Noah broke the rules and Nick had to pay for the car and give it back. Nick takes his sister out. But when Roni starts hurting her, Nick fights with her. A fight between the two gangs begins. Jaina leaves, taking Noah and the place with Nick. In the morning, she meets a friend and her mom. They are about to celebrate the holiday when Noah discovers that Nick hasn't been home in four days. Nick sleeps on the beach while Emma and Will prepare for the event. Her husband tries to calm Emma down, but he realizes something is wrong. Her daughter notices all of this and discovers that they really do love each other. Nick plays with his little sister Maggie on the beach. He also claims that he needs to leave early today. In the evening, the family returns home. However, a little later, Nick shows up and sees Noah lying on the couch. He sits down with her because she is attractive. They continue without words. They can't stop until mom shows up. Nick sees Noah washing her car in the morning. Not letting her brother come over but not forbidding him to watch Noah seduces herself and pours water on herself which makes her clothes transparent. Noah's mom comes over to see her with Dan, her ex-boyfriend. She knows he's cheating with her friend, 
though he tries to kiss her. Nick observes this. A while later, Noah comes to Nick and tells him that they have a problem. Her ex-boyfriend shows up and pushes her brother into the pool, so he doesn't recognize Nick. Dan tries to justify himself by saying he still loves her, but when he gets splashed with water, Noah walks away. Walking over to his brother, he pulls her into the water. She swims away from his brother, but he swims after her. When he catches up with his sister, he studies her attractive figure, and the girl clearly likes it. Until Emma starts looking for Nick, they continue kissing. Dan discovers that the man in the picture is Nick. Dan is put on the same floor where Noah lives. She freaks out when she sees the note in the flowers. The girl thinks Dan is sending them, but he claims he is not. Roni finds Nick on the way back from the restaurant, in a red sports car. When Nick gets home, he sees Dan walk in on his sister. He goes up to the balcony where Noah is lying. His sister wakes up and hits him when he touches her. She notices the wound. The sister takes off her clothes to wash the wounds. They agree not to walk alone. Noah leisurely examines her brother and kisses him. Although they realize their actions are wrong, they continue to study each other. They leave when Dan interrupts them. Nick's father sees his abrasions for the morning. The butler plays along with Nick, saying he cleaned up the leaves by the pool. The girl receives another threatening letter, but doesn't explain the situation. In the car, the friends talk about how they got into the race. Anna, Nick's friend, tells everyone exactly who taught Noah to drive like that. According to the girl, her father died. Upon arriving at the race, Noah gave her brother the same model of car she lost. Nick says he is falling more and more in love, and they are getting to know each other and growing closer. As their friends arrive, they stop. They have a new car to race. It's Gina's upgraded car. It turns out that they have arrived at Fight Club. The sister tries to keep Nick from fighting, but he declares that he enjoys doing it. Nick deftly dodges the punches. For the duration of the fight, Noah steps away. Nick misses too many punches, but still wins and is rewarded. After the fight, he looks for his sister. Noticing Mario kissing her, he pushes his friend away. Noah admits that he is afraid of his brother and that they should cut ties. They leave. In the morning, Noah works at a cafe while Nick runs on the beach. While working, she remembers how much fun they had together. She puts stickers on her car with the butler. Her hands tremble when she receives another threatening letter at work, while tells her son about Noah's father. That he might hurt her again since he used to beat Noah a lot as a child. He was released from prison two weeks ago. The parents ask Nick to support his sister and be there for her. Noah still doesn't know that her father is out of jail, and they ask Nick not to tell his sister. At the party, her father watches Noah walk around with a friend. Later they leave the party and Noah becomes ill. Nick doesn't notice they are being watched when they arrive. Back to get her jacket, Anna pushes the girl into the closet. Nick pulls her out afterward. Her brother puts her to bed when they get home. Noah is scared and asks her brother to stay with her. He relieves the stress and the girl falls asleep. The next morning they wake up in the same bed. His father walks into the room. Will reports with Maggie in the hospital and calls his brother. His sister seems healthy. The doctor informs both sisters that everything is fine and they need some rest. They stop to talk about Nick confessing his love to her, but that may be over soon. To get to know each other better, they head to the beach. He goes down to her scar and does whatever she wants. In the morning, they talk about themselves and are happy to have it again. Nick suggests running away together. Upon arriving at the gas station, Nick leaves his sister in the car and promises to return quickly. While his brother pays for his purchases, Roni quickly gets into the car and kidnaps the girl. After looking at the surveillance cameras, he discovers that Roni has committed the girl's kidnapping. The detective begins his search. The father, upon learning of his son's hobbies of racing, Fighting and partying puts off this conversation for later, and reassures Emma. The girl wakes up already handcuffed. She reaches for water, and the glass is moved by someone. It seems to be her father, Anos, whom the girl is terribly afraid of. He confesses that he was the one who sent all the threatening letters. He calls Emma and declares that he will avenge his past, and demands one million dollars in ransom. He explains where the ransom needs to be brought. Anos punches Ronnie and wonders what to do next. A man has been watching them through hidden cameras after everyone arrives at the meeting place. Emma realizes that money isn't the problem. The detective asks Nick if he really lost the car and he replies that he keeps paying the insurance. Then they learn that they can track the car with GPs.
Anos realizes he's been found and is going to flee. His daughter is driving a red powder. The girl drives out of the garage and tries to get away. Nick catches up with him and Anno suits his ex-wife, who covers her with a suitcase which ensures that they remain unharmed. Noah's father explains why he kidnapped her, that he was upset that he didn't become a world champion racer and ended up in prison. He's going to get revenge on everyone for that. When she reaches the edge, she turns around. Nick stands in the way. Although Noah realizes this is the end, they get an idea. They keep moving until someone stops. Leaning over, the detective disarms the bandit. The chase is over. Ronnie is found by police officers. Emma sees a body after the chase is over. It's her ex-spouse. Noah and Nick are doing well. Nick is ready to continue protecting his sister when they meet again at home that evening. He confesses his love. Noah is glad it's mutual. What would you do if you moved in with a rich free-spirited sibling? 